What is up teachers? Today I want to show you how to log into Adobe Creative Cloud Express with your students and create something that's been something of a novelty for generations and that is a Wild West poster. Let's begin. Keep in mind Adobe Creative Cloud Express it used to be called Adobe Spark and I love that they've got formerly Adobe Spark right there to remind you and orient you. You're going to place that link hopefully on your LMS so your students don't have to Google this but if they do Google it make sure they go to Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Now from here we're going to hit sign in in the top right hand corner and students love to jump to continue with Google but over here, log in with school account on the right side. That's where you want to go because you want to unlock all of those premium features that your school account gives you access to. So continue with Google and select your school account and boom, you are inside Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Now, normally we would hit the big plus sign over on the left side to create a new project, right? But in this case, we're going to go to the search bar and type in wanted poster because we know that's a particular template that Adobe has that we want to create today. Here is the one that I want to play with. I'm going to use wanted and create from this template. And I'm not going to spend a ton of time uh, modifying this template. I'm mostly happy with it as it is, but I will do a couple of things. For one, I'm going to get rid of this frame. I'm not a huge fan of the frame. And I'm going to take you over to the left side where it says design assets, design assets. Now design assets is home to quite a lot of resources down here. You see frames. I'm going to select more and scroll down through the frames. We're going to get to a group of frames called rolled ink. And these look very authentic. I, I know authentic is always in quotes when I'm dealing with time periods from past centuries. But at any rate, I'm going to choose this frame. I like that a little bit more than the one in the template. We're going to put it into position and it's going to sit right about here. We'll use our centering lines and tools to do that. That's about right. Next, we need a photo of ourselves, obviously. So we're going to go to photos and upload photo. Hopefully you have a folder that you are building, whether you're a student or a teacher in your Google Drive, and it is titled me because we all need to collect photos of ourselves, not because we are raging narcissists, but because they come in handy for different design projects like this one. I will use my official school photo in this case, and we will plunk that down right there. First thing we'll do is move it over into position. Next, we're going to remove the background. So get that background out of there. And I am okay with that. Give that the check mark. Next, I'm going to crop it. Actually, the cropping is fine as is. It got rid of the empty gray space on top. So don't need to do that. Go ahead and crop if necessary, I guess I would say. Now I'm resizing my photo. I'm putting it into position. Notice right now it is in front of the frame. So we can change that order over here. I want to put it behind the frame so that the frame is sort of coloring over top of the edges. That is the look that I am going for. Now, right now I'm still selected. Uh, I've still selected my photo. I can go over here to filters and select grayscale. Then I'm not done. I, I can make that black and white pop just a little bit more by going down to enhancements turn up the contrast and pop the brightness a little bit, maybe a little more contrast. Yeah, that's getting into a range that I, I quite like, quite like it, quite a lot. All right, that was an awful accent. Now we're just about finished, but I like to encourage down here, I like to, my, uh, to encourage my students to come up with some kind of a positive crime. I mean, maybe you're reading too much, making too many friends, trying too hard in the basketball game, whatever it might be, go ahead and change the text over here in the edit text box. And you can change the size of the font as well right here. And of course the color, shape, outline, style, and so on. I'm going to write charged with reading. Maybe I'll just leave it at that. That's my crime, charged with reading. Now up here, I like the black and white theme that we've got going on, but up here you can select the wanted words. 
you can select any of the words that you want, frankly, and do the same thing that I'm doing here, but you can make those letters red. And maybe that's, uh, maybe that's something fun to add to this. Maybe it takes away a little bit of the authenticity, right? But it's, it's fun. And you can give those letters a white outline. Now that becomes more of a graffiti style, or you can take that right down to a very thin white line, whatever you want. And don't forget, if you are submitting this photo or this new image on your LMS or Google Classroom, you need an image. You actually need an image file. So we're going to go over here to download. And I always recommend downloading a PNG. Do not make that background transparent or that will get rid of that yellowish parchment canvas, whatever it is, <laughs> it'll get rid of that. So you want the the solid color, all right? And then make sure you are putting that file exactly in a folder that you know you can find, not just in your recent files, but further down the road. So I will go ahead and choose a folder. In fact, I'm going to put this back in the me folder, my project. And actually a better file name would be me hyphen wanted poster or something like that. That is it. That is how to create an Adobe Creative Cloud Express wanted poster. I hope that was helpful. If uh, if that was useful for you, let me know. Tag me at Teachers on Fire on any social media platform and let me know you learned something here today. And until next time, take care, share an encouraging message to lift up a colleague and keep that fire for learning burning bright. Bye-bye, everyone.